Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on this episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to uh, Grimshaw Pack right here again. Uh, we actually just did a quest for him, and he wanted us to go find some lost supplies for him. Uh, and we did that. We found some crates, uh, six of them to be exact, gave them to him, and we got an earring in return. So let's see what he has for us in, in store this time. Let's see. Horseshoes, axe, handles, mustache, wax, ba. Where's all the woolen clothing? Uh, woolen clothing? Ah, me boys out here are freezing our beards off every night. I can't have them all coming down with colds. I need my men to be healthy and as strong as they can. You never know when we might receive word that it's time to finally strike out and reclaim Kal Kaladin for ourselves. Well, what shall we do? Well, I've already sent Grady off to shear as many of those sheep as he can. However, I fear that not that may not be enough. What else can we use? Well, the Graniteback apes have some pretty remarkable hides, and we don't you go skin a few of them and bring me back their hides. Well, that's kind of sick, but I guess we can do that. I can do that. Are you kidding? They'll skin me no way. Uh, okay, so it's ain't no monkey business. Level 28. You get at least 75 silver, 48 copper, and let's see, uh, amulet of never-ending uh, skirmish. Treasure, no trade. 12 strength, 13 agility, 14 stamina, plus 4 to weapon skills, 0.5% potency. It's a charm slot and for level 28. And as you can see, it's better than at least one of the charm slots that we have. So we're going to go ahead and hit accept. Thanks, friend. Make sure you only skin the elder Granibex. The older the ape, the tougher the hide. I think I saw some earlier this morning south of West uh, Fort Irontoe near the quarry. All right, I'll be back soon. So we know exactly where that is. Uh, I'll show you guys on the map just so that you can get an idea. Uh, for those of you who just want to skip ahead. And you'll see it right over here. It's not too hard to get to. Again, it kind of leading us into the same direction uh, we've been. Make sure you don't uh, miss that tunnel entrance. It's very, very easy to do. I've done it plenty of times. Come out the other side. I'm like, oh, come on. You know, what? <laughs> what? You know, it's it, those walls kind of blend into each other. It's very easy to... And these guys always stun when I come by them. Let's go. Zoom out a little bit. Now these granite bag apes are actually uh, basically teddy bears. I mean, they do not hit that hard. Uh, if you're coming at them much lower level, well, then you may have some issues. But you can see they're about 27, 28. And for the most part... The uh, little pushovers are not going to do that much damage to you compared to all the creatures in the zone. Uh, these guys really aren't even a challenge. And I am level 28, so these these guys are even to me. And as you can see, they haven't even hurt me. They haven't done any hit points uh, down. And I'm not wearing like raid gear or anything like that. I'm not a tweak and, and I'm mentored down to do these quests. I'm literally leveling up uh, as we do these with you guys, and the only stuff I wear is the stuff that I get from the quest, so not even the greatest stuff in the game. And these guys are just not really a challenge. You're going to have creatures like that in some zones that are just easier than the rest. Uh, take advantage of it. Sometimes you will get quests to fight the hard, hard guys, and that can be really, really painful sometimes. Having to wait in between fights for your health to go back up. And these guys, it's kind of enjoyable. You can kind of just breeze right through them and not worry too much about it. In fact, I'll zoom in so you can get a good view of what they look like. Kind of, I don't know, kind of ugly looking with their their fangs and stuff coming out of them. But they definitely did spend some time, uh, you know, rendering the graphics on these guys. Now I wanted to give you guys at least one fight where I wasn't talking so that you could hear the sound effects that these guys have. The, I remember in EverQuest 1 and some of the greatest memories I have, kind of like in Zelda where you have like the Triforce being held up, you re instantly recognize that sound. Uh, they had the skeletons that were laughing and there was just like this evil, uh, really cool laugh that they had on these guys. So sometimes the sound effects of these, these people or these creatures 
are very, very notable. And when I'm talking over it, maybe you guys don't always get to hear it. So I'll go ahead and stop for another second, and you guys can kind of hear the fight. So yeah, I mean, it's these guys don't make too much noise, but I did have a comment on one of my videos where they wanted to kind of hear some of the creature sounds as well so I wanted to do that for just uh, every creature that I fight I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a few seconds and let you guys hear it because they do have some pretty cool sounds occasionally this one really not uh, doing too much at all but and you can see my new armor compared to my old armor they usually will do that they change the color set so my old armor was like a bronze color and my new armor is a silver like knight in shining armor kind of thing and then your next armor could go back to being bronze again. Uh, they just want to be able to show people that you're you're going through and you got different gear and things of that sort. Plus, you know, if you get bronze and you don't really like that look, and then you get a silver set, well, then you can go ahead and put that silver set on your looks category uh, and keep that on indefinitely. Just because you get a new set of armor that's better than what you have on, uh, doesn't necessarily mean you have to change the way you look. That's kind of a cool little feature they have in this one that they didn't have in every quest uh, one. Uh, whatever you were wearing is what you were wearing, and if you didn't like the way it looked, well, you had to choose. Did you want the looks over the stats, or did you want the stats over the looks? So This one is kind of nice. You can have your cake and eat it, too. Let's go ahead and kill this last guy. He's a little bit lower level, level 27. If you're looking for more experience during these fights, you could always fight just the harder level ones, the level 28s. Uh, I haven't seen any over here that are heroic, so you don't really have to worry about that. I haven't seen any with arrows up either, or arrows down if you're looking for easier ones. I haven't really seen any of those. Before you go turn in, always check your quest to make sure that it's asking you to do that. Uh, plenty of times I've done it, and I've warned you guys time after time to make sure, uh, because sometimes they're like, oh, we'll kill one more. Uh, kill two more, or since you did that, uh, go ahead and study <coughs> the the hides that you got and when you study them it says go ahead and kill a few more so always check just to be safe sorry guys I'm still getting over a little cough here so I'm trying to not cough into the mic on you guys uh, I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice still <clears throat> you can hear the echo in the tunnel it's pretty cool Miners still sitting there hitting their little pickaxe on the wall. Good to see you again, friend. Have you brought me everything I asked for? Yes, here are the hides you requested. If I can look at the guy. There you go. Ooh, nice. An A point. Ain't no monkey business. Level 28, you get 88 silver, 88 copper, and the amulet, which we're going to go ahead and put on now. Great, I'll give this to our tailors right away. They should be able to start making cold weather clothing from these hides immediately. Anything else I can do? Not at this time, friend. Tell you what, I know Pax Harmozugaga, yeah, that's, if you guys can say that name, you're better than I am, uh, has been up to his ears in outpost security matters. Maybe you could go offer your service to him. Alright, I'll go look him, or look for him. Great, try looking around West Fort Irontoe. I think that's where I saw him last. Okay, good to know. So obviously that's going to lead you to another quest guy. Right, let's see, which one do we want to replace with this? Now, huh. we're going to lose some damage per second, as I said before. I'm guessing we're going to replace the Mark of Strength, because the stats are pretty low. Yeah, that's the one we're going to replace. So let's see, where's it at? Right up here on the top. Now remember... You can always sell these to a vendor. You're not going to get too much. At this level, I would suggest holding on to these items uh, and transmuting them as you go through. Transmuting will give you pieces that you can then use to make things later on. It's a trade skill. Of course, if you're not into trade skilling at all, uh, just sell it to a vendor because if it's no trade, you're not going to be able to put it on the broker. And, you know, it's just they're the only ones who are going to buy it other than, you know, destroying it if that's what you want to do. But again, guys, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, definitely comments below. Love to hear back from you guys on what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, what quest you like, 
Uh, do you enjoy uh, certain zones? You want to see those again? Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode.